Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna show, how to clean install macOS Ventura, on unsupported Macs. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So, let's begin. For this purpose, I'm using a Mac Mini Late 2014 model, which officially supports macOS Monterey, and will not support any further macOS version. Officially, for performing a clean install, you'll need an open core legacy patcher, and macOS Ventura bootable USB. For creating macOS Ventura bootable USB, follow the guide for my button. Now, open open core legacy patcher. After it opens, click on settings, and here, check, allow native models. And after that, click on SMBIOS settings, and then select advanced, from SMBIOS spoof level drop down. Now, click on SMBIOS spoof model, and select a device model of the same lineup, which supports macOS Ventura. Like mine is a Mac Mini 7.1 so I'll be choosing Mac Mini 8.1, as it supports macOS Ventura officially. After choosing the spoof model, click on Generate SN, and then click on Return to Settings, and then Return to Main Menu. Now, plug in your macOS Ventura bootable USB. And after it appears, click on Build and Install Open Core, and from Prompt, click on Install to Disk. And now select your USB drive, then the EFI partition. Enter your password and continue with prompts. And now, click on Reboot, and then click on Restart. During Restart, press and hold the Option key, to enter Boot Picker menu. From here, select EFI Boot, and press Enter key, and after that, select Install Mac OS Ventura Beta, and press Enter key to boot. Now, let me tell you that, macOS Ventura Beta 2, has an issue, and it requires an administrator login, to install. As of now, the easiest method is to proceed the installation without erasing the drive first, and after it continues to install, cancel it, and then start over. After cancelling the installation, select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Here, click on View, and then click on Show All Devices. Now select your main drive instead of any partitions, and click on Erase button and erase the drive with the following parameters. After erasing the drive, close Disk Utility, and now select Install Mac OS Ventura, and click on Continue, and proceed with the installer. Here, select the drive you created, and then click on Continue. Enter the credentials of your previous installation, and then click on Unlock. And macOS Ventura will continue to install. Keep in mind that the installation process may take a while, depending on your USB, and drive speed. And during the installation, your Mac will restart several times, so don't worry about that.
And finally, Ventura setup screen is here, set up your Mac OS according to your preferences. And finally, we're on macOS Ventura desktop. You may feel it is a bit laggy, as the graphics for the unsupported Macs aren't working. As soon as there is any update, a guide will be published for fixing graphics on unsupported Macs. And, you can see, macOS Ventura has been successfully installed on unsupported Mac. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.